everyone, my name is Carrie Kampoff and I'm an occupational therapy student here at the American Stroke Foundation. Today I'm going to be going over the proper way of getting out of a wheelchair and into a car. This is my dad, Denny. He's volunteering with us today, so I appreciate all of his help. <laughs> so first things first, we're going to be putting on a gait belt. If you haven't done this in a while, it's important to lace the belt through these teeth right here because that's what's going to help you get it tight. So lean forward, please. We're going to wrap this around his back. Thanks for lifting up your arms. And then you're going to lace this through those teeth. You may need to pull it around. And then make sure you're pulling it nice and tight. Is that okay? Good. And then we're going to lace it through this loop right here. And it's important to use a gait belt for two reasons. One, you don't want to be lifting underneath their arm because you have a cluster of nerves here called the brachial plexus. So if you're pulling on that area of the body, that could damage those nerves and aff affect your arm's function. And then second, when we're grabbing from down here near the waist, you're more closer to the person's center of gravity. And there you can have a greater control over their movements. Whereas if you're grabbing by the arms, you don't have as much control and it can be more of a fall risk. And if you don't have a gait belt at home, you can always grab from their pants or a belt that they have on their clothes. Alrighty, so now we're going to practice getting into the car. First things first, open up the door and move the seat backward as far as it can go so you have lots of room to move around. Next, we're going to remove the footrests here. Put your foot down. Thank you. And then you can put them wherever you want. I'm just going to throw them in the back seat now. Just make sure they're out of the way and not a tripping hazard. So next, we could lift your feet up. Thank you. And we're going to get either at a 90 or a 45 degree angle to the car. So you can get as close as you want. And then we're going to lock the brakes. And the most important part with the angle is you don't want to have the wheelchair angled directly towards the car because then they'll twist their knees when they're trying to move. So first things first, make sure that your brakes are locked once you're next to the car. So now we're going to stand up. So as the caregiver, I'm going to make sure that I'm pushing up with my legs and try not to bend your back as this is going to potentially cause a back injury. And then for you, dad, first things first, I want you to get as far forward on the wheelchair as you can. Just slide forward. Good. Do you feel like you're all the way forward or can you get a little bit further? I don't think without tipping. Okay. Then we're good to go. So then the next step is I'm going to grab at the gate belt. And dad, when you stand up, I want you to push off the armrests of the wheelchair. And then when you stand up, grab onto a hard surface of the car. So you can grab on right here or onto my arm, but try to avoid grabbing onto the door as much as you can as that is gonna move around. And as caregivers, you can also place your leg near their knee to block their knee just as another extra precaution. Are you ready to stand up? All right, so you're gonna push off the armrests. And we're going to do three tilts forward, and we're going to stand up on three, all right? One, two, three. Great job. Put that hand on my arm. There you go. That's okay. All right, and then we're going to take some small steps and turn your hips around. You can grab onto my arm with your other hand if you'd like. There you go. Good. Good job. Good. Now you can start going down. I'm going to make sure he doesn't hit his head with my hand here. You're good. The, the seat is right there, so you can bend down. Good job. A little bit over. There you go. All right. Do you need help with your legs? Perfect job. So he also grabbed on with this little grab bar here. And that's another great device that you can use to get in. How do you think that went, Dad? It went well. An adaptive device that can be used to make a car transfer a little bit easier is a car cane. All you do is place this pointed gray end in the hinge on the inside of your car door. Then you simply place your hand on the car cane and push up. This serves as a very solid base of support and can help give you a little bit extra balance in this transfer.
Not only is a car cane an adaptive device to assistive transfers, but it can also serve as a safety feature. The pointed end can be used to break a car window or a windshield if you'd be trapped inside your car. In addition, there's a blade at the bottom that can be used to cut your seatbelt off in a time of emergency. Lastly, most car canes have LED lights on the top that can be used if you would get trapped in the dark. So not only is this device a great functional tool, but it can also be helped to improve your safety. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, log on to AmericanStroke.org. Have a great rest of your day.